First Community Church began in the early 20th century as the Grandview Congregational Church. The intriguing thing to me about First Community Church is that a denomination didn't come in and organize a church. It was the people who settled Grandview and Arlington and Marble Cliff. At this time, Dr. Washington Gladden was a very prominent figure, not only in Columbus, but across the country. They visited Dr. Gladden at the First Congregational Church in downtown Columbus. There, they convinced him to spiritually and financially support their newly formed church. The Building Society would provide a third of the cost for purchasing land and building a church. In 1910, they organized themselves as the Grandview Heights Congregational Church on the corner of Lincoln Road and First Avenue. They hired a protege of Dr. Gladden who was named Oliver Wiest. He felt that whatever was needed in the community, that was what the church needed to do. During his tenure at the church, Dr. Wiest created a library and he started a newspaper. He founded a choir, an orchestra, and a men's chorus. They had a gym, and there was no place for anybody to play sports in early Upper Arlington. This became known as the Church of the Open Door because it was never locked. To better serve a more diverse community, the church eventually broke away from the Congregational Church and reformed as the non-denominational First Community Church. They had innovative ideas. Instead of a Sunday school picnic in 1916, they decided, why don't we have a festival for the entire community and we'll decorate our houses and we'll encourage people living on the blocks to get together and have a float or dress up in costumes. We'll have games and we'll have races and we'll end up at the church and have a dinner that night. So this was the beginning of field days, which went on for over 10 years and became a huge, huge part of the social life for the Tri-Villages. Everybody wanted to go to First Community Church, and I think part of it was the ministers that they had. And Dr. Burkhardt was such an influence. And I actually remember my very first time going to Sunday school there. The first person I met was Dr. Burkhardt. And Dr. Burkhardt was standing there greeting the children as they came in for Sunday school. And I looked up at him, and he was this tall man and had this big black robe on. I looked up at him, and I thought, he must be God. He was like a Pied Piper as far as the, the youth were concerned. If you consider that 96% of all the youth in Grandview and Arlington came to First Community Church, that says a great deal about the quality of the programs. The church started this idea of the bar nun, and it was uh, a, a dance. The first one was held in 1938. There were lots of bars in Franklin County, and they were trying to find a way that young people could have fun in an atmosphere where there was no alcohol served. And it was the big event on New Year's Eve for many, many, many years. Over the years, people have come and gone, and the communities have grown. But First Community Church has remained a cornerstone of the Tri-Village neighborhoods. First Community Church, which still is vibrant today and is a key part of the spiritual community in the Tri-Village. Mm -hmm.